jumper. That's a big one. I think that's my biggest one yet. That is a beautiful fish. Wow. Today I'm going to show you my favorite flies for Dolly Varden and Arctic Char here in Alaska. I just love these Wheatley fly boxes for my wet flies. The new aluminum ones came out in 1900. Here's a fly I invented many years ago. It's called the Sultry Creek Special, named after a stream here on Kodiak. This works well in the spring and early summer when pink salmon fry are migrating to the sea. This is a simplified Battle Creek Special. I omitted the orange hackle because I found it didn't improve the fishing and made it quicker to tie. Sometimes I'll add a small amount of lead wire to the shank. One day midsummer, I was fishing with my friend Art, and he was impressed how well I was doing with his fly. So I gave him one, and he immediately started catching fish. He flew back to Anchorage and told all of his friends that the Alaska fly fishers, come September, they made a trip to Kodiak. Now I know these people because I used to live in Anchorage and attended the meetings. I saw them on the Buskin River, and they all opened their fly boxes, which were filled with these flies, and started laughing. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one. Here's a fly I invented called the Blue Classic. It's tied in size 12. I've always loved the looks of the yellow Sally fly, but it was never a good performer for me. So I did an experiment one year where I tied up a dozen all one color flies and fished each one multiple times. At the end of the year I tallied up my catch and the color blue won by a large margin. Dolly Varden are not known for taking dry flies like other trout, but for some reason if you skate an elk heracatus across the surface of a stream, they go nuts for it. And it is so fun to fish for because you can see their mouth right on the surface as they slurp it. This is another reason why I usually just stick with a floating fly line when fishing dollies in a stream. After reading this awesome book, I started getting into historic fly wet flies. I found they work perfectly well for a dolly varden, and they're a heck of a lot more fun than casting a bead. I find the history fascinating, especially since I used to live in England for two years, so I've been to most of these places. Tom Bosworth invented the coachman fly in 1830. He was the coachman for King George IV and Queen Victoria of England. It was for many years the most popular fly in England. Nearly 200 years later, I can still catch trout, trophy trout and Dolly Varden. Possibly the most famous wet fly ever, the Royal Coachman wet fly. This is also in a dry fly version. In 1878, John Haley of New York City invented the fly for a client who wanted an extra sturdy fly. Later, a group of fly fishermen were debating its name. What can you do? Here's a fly intended to be a coachman, yet it is not the true coachman. It is quite unlike it. And what can you call it? Mr. L.C. Orvis, the brother of Mr. Charles Orvis, who is the founder of the Orvis Company, who was present, said, Oh, that is easy enough. Call it the royal coachman. It is so finely dressed. The Grizzly King was first invented by James Wilson, professor of philosophy at Edinburgh University, Scotland, in 1840. He also created the even more famous pattern, The Professor. Heck, with a name like this, I just had to try this in Kodiak, and sure enough, it works 
amazing. I have, I have caught no less than $100 on this fly. No lie. Some days it's the only fly I'll use. The gold ribbed hare's ear wet fly was invented in 1880s, but the history is vague. Later it was transformed into the most famous nymph pattern of all. But I still love the original wet fly version. The dollies and trout won't argue with me. I hope you enjoyed my video on my favorite flies for Dolly Varden. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite flies are and if you have any luck with these flies. Please uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. My next video I'm going to be featuring uh, tips on Dolly Varden fishing. So make sure you tune in for that one. And I'll talk to you later. See you on the water. Thank <laughs> you.